Uh, one thing that people talk about, you always hear a lot, like leg day, today's leg day. Most people that join a gym, they don't start doing squats and heavy leg presses for their first couple years. And one thing about legs, training legs heavy and training them right is one thing that definitely separates your casual bodybuilding fan from the guy who crosses over and kind of gets a little bit more on the hardcore side. I'm Chris, I'm the National Sales Director here at BPI Sports. I'm 40 years old, I've been working out for the vast majority of my life. I knew that uh, working out would help me get better in sports. Uh, to me, there was something a little bit more than that. I also enjoyed uh, actually working out and wanted to get into bodybuilding. I mean, I can remember even when I was a little kid begging my parents to buy me a bench for the basement. Uh, I spent a lot of time down there training, moved into the high school weight room. Uh, and the time I spent down there did help. I became a better athlete and I also learned the discipline of training. I built up an enjoyment for weightlifting and an interest in bodybuilding that led to greater things down the road. Uh, out of college, I worked for a couple ad agencies in New York and then started my own business installing alarm systems in New Jersey where I grew up. Uh, but even while I was doing all that, uh, I was always in the gym training, sometimes with more focus than others. Um, and as I was doing what people do, you know, building a life, uh, a career, getting married, having kids, I always had a bubbling undercurrent of interest in bodybuilding, supplementation, training, uh, and I was able to use that to kind of get some demo work for some supplement companies uh, at GNC's and Vitamin Shops in my area, which is where I was lucky enough to meet the guys from BPI and get involved in this, th in this thing here. And I've always seen myself as not necessarily an underdog, but the guy who needs to outwork everybody else, the guy who needs to spend more time in the gym, be smarter with his nutrition. When I train, the squats take up probably almost a third, maybe even a little bit more of uh, my leg training. Proper technique on squats is absolutely critical. You want your feet to be about shoulder width. Down to parallel, right back up. One thing you'll find when you start squatting heavy, a lot of people that come down this way and get scared, they're actually cheating themselves. When you get down here, there's a lot of power. It'll launch you right back up and that's what's gonna to add to the thickness in your quads and hamstrings. Chris McKenzie is absolutely insane in the gym. That's the only thing, that's the only word I can really use to describe him. This guy goes into the gym seven days a week, trains like an absolute animal. I've never really, I've never trained with anyone like this guy. And uh, you know, I, I've, I've definitely relied on, on him for motivation and uh, to raise my intensity levels for my training, especially over the past eight weeks. Most people don't even want to go in the gym and train with Chris. They know he's just an animal. He's trained with pro bodybuilders that came back and said, that guy is insane. Uh, here at BPI, very few people venture out there and hit a workout with Chris. I think probably one of the only guys crazy enough is Abe. He went out there one time, I know, and did a leg workout, and Chris just destroyed him. I can remember one day that I actually beat Chris on a lift on a Monday during a shoulders day. And uh, I can tell you, he made me pay the price for that. The next following day we did legs and I practically had to take a few of my vacay days off because how bad he pounded me with that. So uh, if you're gonna compete against Chris, you better be ready to pay the price. In both bodybuilding and your career, the one thing you need is patience. I think when it comes to weight training, you know, it could take you a year or two years to bring up a lagging body part. And a lot of guys just don't have that mental toughness to stick with it that long and work that hard. Uh, your career is the same way. Uh, I'm very lucky in that I was able to find something I'm passionate about and, and build a career in it. But you got to work hard just to get your foot in the door. And the truth is, once your foot's in the door, that's when the hard work really starts.